Remember the last time we ever scored three defensive touchdowns? Uh, a case of I thought Columbia played hard. I thought they had a very good game plan on both sides of the ball. We just, you know, we just had uh, more mature kids. Uh, we had more guns, and that was the difference in the game. Any questions for the So I think you talk about um, getting that hit on the guy in the end zone. You're going to keep this shut out. How important was it for you guys? Lock down there and get shut out. Um, that, that's really important to us. Uh, we came into this game, we're always looking to shut out team. You know, we're taking pride in our defense, and um, I just knew I had to make a play for the team. It wasn't it wasn't for me, you know. It was uh, for the team and to keep uh, the defense strong. So uh, it was it was good. Wasn't what I, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Wasn't sure if I was gonna go for the ball or not, but uh, I did what was best for the team, and it turned out to you know really come in our favor. And just talking about the secondary of the season in general for you guys, you know, a lot of new faces in the beast, you know, if not the top defense, more the top defense in the FCS. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, very new faces. A lot of young guys um, underestimated early in the season. We weren't quite sure uh, how we were going to be secondary. But um, we've come out. We've worked hard. Preseason, in practice every day, coaches have been getting us ready. And uh, we've worked really hard at what we do, and uh, it's showing. It's showing we come out with intensity, um, speed we have, and we just let it show on, on the film, and we just come out and do what we've been coached to do. Uh, yes, sir. You know, first off, I, you know, I just want to say all the glory be to God. I mean, we we're so blessed to be able to play this game, all of us, and uh, and neither of those plays would have been possible without my teammates. The first one, Eric Meads, had a great hit on the receiver ball popped up. If I didn't make the play, I mean, that's just bad on me. And then the second one, lots of great blocking. Jake Lindsay had an incredible block uh, that really helped spring me. So, I mean, I may get the credit in the stats, but they were doing a heck of a lot of work for me to get those plays. Did you ever have two pick sixes in high school? <laughs> no, no uh, not in the same game. <laughs> Pardon me? Well, again, I think like all of these guys have said, our defensive coaches have done a tremendous job. The uh, transition that we've made in the secondary so quickly and so seamlessly uh, from last year. Um, and you just put it all together, and we're playing great team defense. Uh, we rarely make mistakes, which is the most important thing. Uh, we play extremely hard. Uh, it's a very, very close unit, very, very close team. And uh, because of that, it's, it's really been a very special year defensively. Now, we've got a lot of football left to play, um, but clearly our identity, if you have to choose one identity as a team, is we're, we're a great defensive team right now, and, and we have to play to that strength uh, on special teams and offensively. Tim, have you ever had a group that played together defensively as well? Well, I think I, I, I think that's a question we'll answer at the end of the season because we've yeah. got some really, really tough football games left. Uh, but the effort, the, the, the chemistry, and obviously the execution and production has been just tremendous. I mean, statistically remarkable. Now, um, again, we have a long way to go. We have a short time to get there. Um, but when you play great defense, as I always say to our guys, you're in every game. When you can play great defense, you're in every game. Coach, can you uh, tell us about Temple's status um, and also what happened to Zach Potter in the first play of the game? Yeah, Zach just got a little banged up, shook it off, felt like it was nothing and was back in there. Um, you know, the way he, he got up, I thought, wow, this could be significant, and apparently it was, it was nothing. And then uh, Connor Hempel, we hope, can play next week. Um, it'll probably be a day-by-day -day thing. Um, but we're cautiously optimistic that he'll be able to play next week. But if not, you know, we'll get the job done. Is that lingering just from the last week? Yeah. Of yeah. And guys, obviously it was three different years, three different teams, but what does it mean to you to have uh, three consecutive shutouts against Columbia? I mean, it just shows a lot about the maturation of our defense. My sophomore year, 69 0, last year, 34 0, and this year, 45 0. This shows that there's no, there's no let ups. We graduate a lot of guys, but we have guys like Asante step up. Guys like myself step up as leaders. Guys like Connor step up and just get it done. So it means a lot to make sure that they haven't scored a point on us in three years. Connor, did you 
Did you have a couple of touchdowns in high school as an offensive player in a game? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. As, as a running back. Coach, you mentioned the 97 uh, team last week. Um, just in terms of the historical context, you're 8 0, as you guys are now. How do you, where do you put you know, this team where it is right now? You know, you really, we're 8 0. That only guarantees one thing it guarantees that we can win a minimum of eight games. So there's a lot of a lot of this season left. That's all I can say. It's as you guys know, um, you know, we define our seasons by championships, not by how many wins you get. So, you know, we've worked extremely hard, not just for the eight games this year, but you know, 300 days a year. These kids work with a passion uh, for a game that they love. Um, and this is we've earned a chance to win a championship next week in Philadelphia. And that's going to take a, a tremendous team effort. Uh, no need to get into that right now because these kids need to enjoy this. But uh, soon enough, we can talk about that. When over the course of these eight games, you realize this was going to be a defensive-dominated team and that was going to be right um, You know, we've played very well offensively at times. Um, but we haven't been as consistent as I hope we'd be. We've played extremely well on, on special teams at times, but we've been consistently strong defensively. We've just had no real lapses. And so I think we've had that kind of identity for a couple games now, that we can, you know, we can defend any offense, um, that we, we're, we're a team that uh, is not going to give up a lot of points. Uh, we're a team that's not going to beat themselves and make mistakes. And obviously, as I've said before, when you finally realize that's the kind of defensive team you have, um, that affects how you do other things. Um, but we're playing great defense. Um, but this tomorrow, this will be history, and, and, and next week's a mystery. So we got to go prove it again next week. Any other questions? Thank you.